Topping news tonight, it's no surprise that COVID-19 has applied a serious dose of stress to the economy. A central bank report gives further insight into the particulars, the repercussions, and what finance gurus are doing to hold the line. Here's Mukush Lapinder. Still reeling from the $3.4 billion shock of last year's Hurricane Dorian, economic indicators suggest the domestic economy will contract this year. As a spin-off, the local unemployment rate is projected to remain high with jobs mainly in the construction sector and limited employment in tourism. However, based on the central bank's analysis, despite any shocks in international oil prices, inflationary pressures are expected to remain contained. As the government's fiscal snapshot reflects, the rebuilding of key infrastructure following Hurricane Dorian along with rising spending for health and social welfare stemming from COVID-19, along with revenue losses, will adversely impact the government's fiscal position. When put into perspective then, the budgetary gap of an estimated 11.6% of GDP is likely to be financed by external borrowing. All this according to the central bank's latest report, which further noted a sizable reduction in external reserves. And this owing to a fall-off in foreign currency receipts related to tourism sector activity and upswing in imports to aid ongoing reconstruction efforts. Central bank officials are nonetheless optimistic that external balances will be adequate to sustain the Bahamian dollar currency peg, adding that in light of the current outlook, it will continue to pursue policies that maintain a favorable outcome for external reserves and mitigate financial sector disruptions. For the ZNS News Network, I'm Akash Lopender.